Buenos dias, amigos! Welcome back to the vlog. Today has been a beautiful morning full of movement and manifestations. So I want to show that to you. I want to show you what I manifested. I always love setting intentions for the little things. I find that these are the big things. When it comes to like manifesting, let's say a life partner or something big in business, that's just kind of where I flow my energy towards. But when it comes to the little things that I love to manifest, this is where I feel like I have the most beautiful connection to the divine. I love when I manifest very particular, specific things. Not all of these are manifestations, but I thought I would just kind of show you because I did do some grocery type shopping today. I found this zero waste store on my way home from Pilates and I got some new coconut milk and I got collagen that has like spirulina in it. And let me show you what I manifested. So beginning on Monday, I'm starting a rose dieta and I couldn't find an apothecary here, except the zero waste store had organic rose petals, roses that I need to make the tea each day and sit with, and it just felt really good to support this woman's shop. I will leave it down below. She also like, just saw that I was like loving everything roses, so pointed out some rose incense for me. I got this beautiful rose facial spray and body spray, and I got some Miel Melipona. This is medicine for your eyes, similar to Sananga, but not as intense, let's say. Some new magnesium because I just ran out. So I was really happy to find supplements as well here because that's something that I haven't been able to locate yet, like a good range, good quality. And I also manifested this mo mochila. So this is a medicine bag and I set the intention that I would find one that just like really spoke to me that had the most beautiful colors that I felt just resonated with me. I apologize, I didn't. Actually those are actually those are clean, except for this little one, that's clean, you guys. I just didn't have enough space because I cleaned my dishes before I left for Pilates. I wanted to manifest a mochila with the colors that really spoke to me and this one did. I saw it the other day when I was at this cafe called Raw Tulum. I just kept thinking about it. It didn't leave my mind. I, I love like the neutral colors, the blue and the pink. And I know that it just like goes with the things that I have. I went for it. You guys, I bought the Habits Protein, the maca and cacao. Very excited. Very, very happy with that. Non-gritty. <laughs> And then yeah, I bought some mangoes. And then, okay, so here's another manifestation of mine. Besides manifesting everything that I needed for my rose dieta, I manifested some white tiger bomb because I'm almost out of mine and I wasn't sure where to find some. So yeah, this is the haul, full of magic, full of love, full of unconditional love with rose. I'll definitely share about that dieta on this channel here. I'm very excited about it. Rose has been calling to me for some time and I feel like the call has just gotten louder and louder and louder to this point where it's just here. It's just here, it's just happening. And luckily my, my new friend Ayla, she's so precious. She has really been guiding me and told me like what I needed to get. And it was like, as soon as I brought that clarity into my mind of what I needed to get, literally the next morning, I get drawn into this zero waste store that has everything that I need. There we go, the power of manifestation, the power of being supported by the universe and all that good stuff. So yeah, today we've got an adventure. I told you guys we were going on adventures in Tulum and today we're going on a very spontaneous trip to Cozumel. So Cozumel is an island off of this coast of Mexico where I'm at right now. And my life coach Angie just arrived there yesterday on holiday. So I booked myself into an eco stay for the weekend there. So today is going to be a spontaneous packing and travel day. I'm very excited. I feel like this is spontaneous and unexpected, but it leaves so much space for fun and joy. And that's what I love about just like living life as an adventure. You just never know. Like a few days ago, I had no idea that I was gonna go to Cozumel for the weekend. And now I'm like, wow, my life is so fun. <laughs> I mean, my life is fun every day and every day is an adventure, but like, you know, when these fun, spontaneous things cross your path and I'm super excited about it. So. We will pack.
this I wanted to show you. This is a bag. It's by Bays. I believe it's called the Cargo Backpack. And I recently got this. I got new luggage, which you saw in the previous vlog that I was unpacking. It matches the same color as this. I am really impressed with this bag. I really love it. This isn't sponsored at all, but I wanted to share that with you guys because any of you out there who are looking for quality luggage, I'm very impressed. And this bag is amazing. It holds so much. It's perfect for a weekend getaway. And what I did was I put my clothing into a packing cube and all my clothing goes in there in the packing cube. I still need to pack my toiletries, but I just want to uh, shower. My water has been turned off this morning, so that's why I haven't showered yet. So I'm hoping that it comes back on so I can do a quick body shower um, and then add my toiletries into this bag. But there's lots of space and it's got great pockets for like a laptop, but I'm not bringing that this weekend. I just put my Remarkable in there, my journal. Uh, there's a taxi that's coming for me in about 50 minutes. So I'm gonna make some granola, coconut yogurt, and a mango. So I've got some fuel. The bus that I'm taking from Tulum to Playa del Carmen, and then I'll take a boat to Cozumel because it's an island. So that bus, I purchased a ticket this morning for 3.30 p.m. and it's about an hour and 20 minute trip, I believe. And then I'll pop on a ferry, that's I think half an hour over to the island. From there, I'll take a taxi to the eco retreat that I'm staying at for the weekend. So I'll be documenting that entire process for you guys, but I wanted to let you know that um, I'm taking the ADO bus. So this is actually the bus that I took from the airport to Tulum it's very affordable they have like wi-fi on the bus it's a very like nice experience comfortable so i bought a ticket today i think it was like 140 pesos which i think is like i don't know maybe around like 10 canadian dollars so very affordable to do this trip the eco retreat that i'm staying at i actually booked on airbnb so i'll leave a link to airbnb down below i believe i have some type of link that can get you guys a discount off if you've never stayed with airbnb before so yeah, super excited. I'm gonna make my snack now and then we'll hit the road. I made it to Cozumel. I'm just waking up, so you know, just swollen and and morning face. <laughs> but okay. So yesterday was a journey, and it did not go as planned. So I'm gonna let you know what happened. It was only like a three minute walk or so to the ferry terminal, so super easy. But there was a huge lineup of tourists because the ferries were all canceled from Playa del Carmen to Cozumel because of the waves. They said that maybe they would be up and running again. So I decided to take the chance. So I took myself out for dinner. I got a nice fish and sweet potatoes. It was really, really nice. I'm a, I'm a simple gal. I really value and appreciate when I can find meals that are just vegetables and fish. Honestly, it was one of the best meals that I've had so far because of like how simple it is. And then I decided to walk back to the ferry port and they said that they were gonna have a ferry at 8 p.m. It was very iffy. There were still lots of waves coming in. There was a lot of people saying there's no way that it's gonna happen. And I bought an open ticket. So this is something that you can do because I think it's actually kind of common that if there's a lot of wind, then the ferries don't go. So you can buy an open ticket, which if I wasn't able to use it last night, I could have used it this morning. But I really wanted to get over here yesterday. I did not want to go back to Tulum. I did not want to just rent a random Airbnb or, or check into a hotel. I was like, I just want to be here. I want to wake up here. Especially because this morning I'm going to a Tamez Cal ceremony. And it's already booked. So I had to be here. I just like used my quantum power and I'm like, no, I'm getting on that boat. I'm getting to that island. <laughs> um, got in. It took about 45 minutes to an hour for them to dock the ferry because of how crazy the waves were. I took like a couple little videos and the boat almost like tipped over. Oh my God. 
It was quite intense. Honestly, it was probably the most uncomfortable boat ride of my life. Yeah, it was kind of funny. Actually, a friend of mine, she messaged me on Instagram because I had posted on Instagram about it and she messaged me and she said, when we went to Cosmo, she's like, there was so much wind. It was, it was so funny because all the tourists on the boat were like vomiting and, and sick, but all the locals were like, oh no, this is just how it is. This is like so normal. And that's kind of the contrast it was. There was like kids playing on the ferry. There was people doing their things. And then all the tourists were sitting there like, you know, <laughs> I had to put my head down after a while because it was pretty intense. I arrived like 10 something and then I got a taxi and then I just was like, I'm, I'm out, I need to sleep. And I'm so happy that I made it here. I'm so happy that I stuck it out and decided to wait for the ferry instead of going back to Tulum or something because waking up in this beautiful nature was, this is exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what I needed. This is exactly why I booked this place so that I could hear all the nature sounds like you, you might be able to hear right now. And yeah, it's just what my soul needed. So anyways, I made it to Cozumel. So there is details on how to make it from Tulum to Cozumel. I'm gonna end the vlog here because I'm going to create a new vlog of my experience today doing a Tame Cal, and I'll probably give you guys a tour of the eco retreat, just what I get up to here for the weekend. So yeah, I guess the lighting's better over here. I know the sun's coming in. So yeah, have a beautiful sunshiny day. <laughs> kind of funny. Have a beautiful sunshiny day you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye!